Chapter 261, Auction. Late at night, Lu Sufeng rushed over as Xiao Chen cultivated in his courtyard. Xiao Chen had no other choice but to stop cultivating and meet him. During the last half a month, Lu Sufeng had been improving every day. He was now filled with enthusiasm. Xiao Chen smiled and said, It is so late already, why are you looking for me? Lu Sufeng was not in a rush to answer this question. He looked around first and when he discovered that Xiao Bai was not around, he heaved a sigh of relief. He then smiled and said, A huge auction is happening soon in the capital city of Zaihe province, Zaihe city. It is specially conducted by Linlang Pavilion for cultivators. There will be many good things there. Coincidentally, I am lacking a good spirit weapon. I am hoping to go there to try my luck. I wanted to ask if you wanted to come with me. Linlang Pavilion's auction, Xiao Chen was interested. He had originally intended to go down the mountain and search for a high-ranked pure lightning attributed martial technique. Coincidentally, Linlang Pavilion was conducting a big auction. This might save him a significant amount of effort. Xiao Chen asked with interest, how big is the auction going to be? What rank of items can we expect? Seeing that Xiao Chen was interested, Lu Sufeng quickly introduced, it is on a very large scale. It is Linlang Pavilion's once a decade huge scale auction. They only accepted spirit stones for transactions. Its standard is similar to the once a year large scale auctions in the imperial capital. Once a decade auction, with Linlang Pavilion's strength, they should not have any difficulty collecting some high-ranked martial techniques. I can go and take a look. Thinking of this, Xiao Chen agreed without hesitation. Lu Sufeng smiled and said, then it is settled. If you are lacking in spirit stones, you can tell me. I can look for my second uncle to loan you some. Lacking in spirit stones, Xiao Chen calmly shook his head. He smiled and replied, there is no need, I've got enough spirit stones. Xiao Chen had obtained 5000 medial grade spirit stones in the underground world and he had not used them yet. When these medial grade spirit stones were exchanged for inferior grade spirit stones, he would be able to obtain 500,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Furthermore, there was the 200 medial grade spirit stones rewarded for the mission from half a month ago and also the 5,000 inferior grade spirit stones he obtained today. If Xiao Chen included all the demonic cores that could be exchanged for inferior grade spirit stones in his universe rings, it might be possible for him to have more spirit stones than the fallen Qingyan peak had stored. With so many spirit stones, there would be more than enough to purchase a pure lightning attributed superior grade earth rank martial technique. Hence, there was no need to worry. Lu Sufeng said, that's good, I'll come get you tomorrow morning. The next morning, Xiao Chen met up with Lu Sufeng as promised. Zaihe city was 25,000 kilometers away from the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. It was quite far away, naturally, the two of them would not be able to walk there. They went to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion Spirit Beast Hall and each paid spirit stones to rent two dragon blood horse that could travel 1,500 kilometers a day. After that, they did not waste any more time to go down the mountain. Not long after the two of them left, Bian Peak's Song Kion headed for Song Q's room joyfully. He smiled as he opened the door, Father, you told me to send people to keep an eye on Yi Chen. He has just left the mountain. Song K, who was seated on the bed while cultivating with his eyes closed, suddenly opened his eyes. There was a flash of a malicious look in his gaze as he coldly said, Is this true? Where are they going to? What are they doing? How long will they be out for? Tell me the details. Song Kian quickly said, I have asked around in the Spirit Beast Hall, they are going to Zaihe City to participate in the once a decade auction. With the Dragon Blood Horse, they are likely to take about one month to make a return trip. I finally found the opportunity, 
there are people protecting you in the heavenly saber pavilion so I have no way to kill you while you are here. However, now that you've left the heavenly saber pavilion, let's see who can protect you now. How reckless. Song K got up and laughed sinisterly, the once a decade auction, coincidentally, I have some old friends from the past going as well. I can ask them to give me a hand too. The dragon blood horse could travel 1,500 kilometers in the day. If they rushed through the night, there should be no problems traveling 2,500 kilometers. However, regardless of man or horse, it would be impossible for them to travel all day and all night. Along the way, they might run into some danger so the both of them had to maintain their peak state. On average, the most the pair could travel was only 2,000 kilometers per day. Three days later, Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng stopped at a huge savanna. Lu Sufeng introduced, this savanna is called the Devil Savanna. The entire area of the savanna is about the size of three Lingyun mountain ranges. There are countless spirit beasts in the grass and there are at least a hundred groups of bandits on horses. This is the most dangerous stage of our journey. Xiao Chen dismounted and said, in that case, we should rest for a while before rushing on our way. We should start our journey while it was still early. Soon, the two of them arrived at a clearing. They started to set up camp. They had been eating and sleeping outdoors along the way, so they were very familiar with setting up camp. Not long later, two small tents were pitched. They took out some dry rations and water. After eating, they started to rest where they were. The night slowly went by. After discussing, the two of them decided that Xiao Chen will stand guard tonight and Lu Sufeng would rest. Oh Wu. Xiao Chen started a campfire and sat in front of it. The howls of spirit beasts in the distance could be heard unceasingly. The light from the fire shone on Xiao Chen's face, flickering continuously. He had an extremely calm expression. Xiao Chen's spiritual sense was shaped like a halo as it spread out in waves after waves. The scenery of the surrounding thousand meters was shown in his mind. There is a group of late rank four demonic beasts in the northwest direction. They number about 200. The Wolf King is already almost a rank 5 demonic beast. There is also a rank 5 spirit beast, Lightning Ox, in the northeast direction. It should be the strongest demonic beast in our vicinity. Then in the south, there are three demonic blood lion. Xiao Chen slowly got up and glanced toward the northeast. He laughed indifferently, looks like the two of us are really popular. To think that so many spirit beasts are targeting us. We shall start with you then. Lightning evasion. A bolt of lightning tore through the dark night sky. When the lightning landed, Xiao Chen appeared beside the lightning ox. The lightning ox was a lightning attributed spirit beast, it was very sensitive to electricity. When Xiao Chen appeared, a bolt of lightning as thick as an arm was fired at him from the tips of the lightning ox's horns. Xiao Chen said coldly, this is like the insignificant light of stars trying to compete with the moon or the sun. How reckless. The clouds in the sky started to rub against each other. Before Xiao Chen made his move, the might of the state of thunder had already started to form. Ka Ca. The lunar shadow saber was drawn out with lightning speed. There was a loud explosion that disrupted the quiet savanna. As Xiao Chen drew his saber, a bolt of lightning as thick as an elephant's leg fell from the sky. The lightning merged with the saber. The bolt of lightning fired from the lightning ox was like a baby compared to it and was instantly swallowed up. There were no changes to the might of the saber as he hacked the huge body of the lightning ox violently. Fu Si. The horrifying electric saber light hacked the lightning ox into half with a shua sound. Electricity lingered on the wounds and the fragrance of roast beef wafted out into the savanna. When the remaining spirit beasts saw that Xiao Chen had dealt with the strongest spirit beast there with one move, they immediately fled in all directions. Xiao Chen did not bother with them. 
After he extracted the lightning ox's spirit core, he returned to the campsite. He saw that the fire was going out, so he added some more firewood. What's going on? Wu Sufeng asked as he came out of the tent. He had been startled awake by the crackle of thunder. Xiao Chen smiled and said, Nothing much, I just scared off some spirit beasts. Go and sleep. Wu Sufeng nodded and returned to his tent. He was feeling quite confident in Xiao Chen's strength. As long as he did not meet the peak existences in the Devil Savannah, he would be able to move around unhindered. Beyond a thousand meters, on a small hill that Xiao Chen's spiritual sense could not reach, there were two bandits with large sabers riding on large horses. They had seen what had just happened. One of the bandits said in shock, how strong. He was able to kill the rank 5 spirit beast lightning ox in one move. First leader, should we still make a move? There was a long scar on the face of the person addressed as first leader. He was tall and stout, his appearance extremely ferocious. He laughed cruelly, the stronger they are, the better the things on them. They are just two people. Our group has more than 200 people. Since when have we been afraid of anyone in this savanna? Another bandit continued, they should be going to participate in the auction in Zaihe City. I recently heard from brothers in other groups that they have robbed quite a few similar parties. Their harvests were extremely huge. Every time they did it, they were able to get several tens of thousands of inferior grade spirit stones. However, these two people seem to be Heavenly Saber Pavilion Corps disciples. If we attack them, we might incur the wrath of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. The first leader laughed loudly, why should we be afraid? After we kill them and bury the corpses, who would know we did it? Even if we fail, we can simply go into hiding. By then, the revenge of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion would fall on the other groups. That would help us to kill off some of our competitors. When another bandit heard this, he laughed, first leader is truly wise. This way, we won't be at a disadvantage either way. The first leader said coldly, gather the brothers, we make a move at noon tomorrow. When the sky became bright, Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng mounted their dragon blood horse and continued on their way. Not long after, Xiao Chen suddenly pulled on the reins and stopped. Lu Sufeng quickly stopped as well and asked cautiously, is there a problem? Xiao Chen nodded, we have been marked by a group of bandits. They have about 200 people. The weakest of them is a martial grand master. They have more than 10 martial saints, the strongest of them is a superior grade martial saint. What should we do? When Lu Sufeng heard that there were so many people, he could not help but worry. Xiao Chen said indifferently, we kill the leader first. Once we kill off the strongest person, the rest of them would not be a threat. Rumble. Indeed it was as Xiao Chen had said. Soon, about 200 bandits arrived before the two of them. The person leading them was the first leader from yesterday. When he saw the two of them, a sinister smile appeared on his horrible looking face. He did not bother speaking any nonsense and simply roared out and rushed over. Xiao Chen slapped his palm on the horse's back and flew up into the air. Immediately, countless hidden weapons and arrows were fired at him. Azure Dragon Tail Whip, Xiao Chen shouted and turned into a purple arc, like a flood dragon moving in the air. This caused the arrows flying at him to all fall to the ground. At the end of the arc, Xiao Chen instantly appeared before the first leader. The lunar shadow saber was drawn with a, Huang Dang, sound. A horrifying electric light that carried the might of thunder hacked at the first leader's head. All this happened within the time it took to blink a few times. The first leader could not react at all. By the time he had realized it, the lunar shadow saber was already near his head. The first leader was startled and quickly drew his cavalry saber to block it, protecting his head. Bang! The hurried move was not able to block Xiao Chen's lightning fast strike. 
Hence, the first leader was knocked off the horse with a loud bang. The first leader crashed into several bandits before landing heavily on the ground. His right arm went numb and fear filled his heart. The first leader got up and shouted, This opponent is not easy to deal with, kill this brat first before we do anything else. The other martial saint bandits quickly gave up on chasing Lu Sufeng and headed for Xiao Chen. As for Lu Sufeng, he was sending out saber chi everywhere. By relying on his advantage of having a higher cultivation realm, the group of bandits were temporarily unable to get near to him. Within a short period of time, there should not be any danger. Xiao Chen landed and a martial saint bandit immediately came rushing over. The bandit ferociously attacked in the direction of Xiao Chen's head. Cultivators who use huge weapons tend to have a very straightforward fighting style. Hence, the might of their martial techniques are extremely huge. The strength of their full power strikes is rather impressive. Xiao Chen swung his saber up, meeting the attack from the bandit, blocking it from moving any further. Regardless of how much force was put in, it was unable to advance any further. Pu Si. Pu Si. The other bandits fired Saber Chi and Sword Chi at Xiao Chen continuously. Xiao Chen simply smiled and applied some force with his right hand. The bandit using the cavalry saber immediately felt a strong force, resulting in the saber in his hand to be sent flying and him stumbling a few steps back. Spinning mountain destroys clouds. Xiao Chen shouted and the image of a mountain merged into the lunar shadow saber. A strong wind blew in front of him, causing all the saber chi and sword chi flying at him to all scatter. Lonely peaks fatal blow. Xiao Chen quickly took a step forward and he hacked at a cultivator using a cudgel. A lone peak appeared above him and the saber carried a huge force as it hacked the bandit into half. Roaming Dragon's Nine Transformations. Clear Wind Chop. Xiao Chen's aura was bright like a rainbow as it soared. Suddenly, nine cool breezes appeared. In each of the cool breezes, there was a figure hiding within it. Pu Si. Pu Si. Only seeing the cool breeze and not the saber. The nine figures were illusory, completely void of killing intent. Even the saber lights could not be seen it was impossible to dodge. Nine spurts of blood immediately appeared in the air, filling the sky. Huge wounds appeared on the chests of nine bandits. The first leader, who had already rushed to within a hundred meters of Xiao Chen, saw what happened and knew that the situation was bad. He quickly stopped and shouted, hold him back. After he said that, he immediately turned around and fled. Immediately, some fearless bandits rushed at Xiao Chen, blocking him. Seeking death. Xiao Chen shouted coldly and the snow-white lunar shadow saber lit up with an electric light, leaving behind a purple arc in its wake. Electricity flickered on the arc, giving off a non-stop, zzz, sound. This was the second move of the rushing thunder saber technique, arc light chop. The surrounding bandits were only martial grand masters. Their bodies were immediately chopped in half by the arc light. The electricity lingered on their wounds, burning it black. Immediately after that, no one dared to get near Xiao Chen. While all of this happened, the first leader leapt onto a horse and had already dashed over about a thousand meters away. Xiao Chen took out the Soul Slayer bow and an essence light arrow from the universe ring. Then he knocked the arrow, drew it back, and released. Kai. A piercing sonic boom came from the air. The essence light arrow became like a meteor and caught up with the fleeing first leader instantly, piercing through his chest. After the essence light arrow killed the first leader, it continued flying for several hundred meters before it slowed down and landed. Seeing their leader die, the remaining bandits all lost their confidence. They did not wish to continue a pointless battle, so they scattered and fled. The two of them casually killed a few bandits but did not chase after them. Xiao Chen headed for the first leader's body as Lu Sufeng stayed where he was and searched the bodies of the martial saint bandits. 
Since long ago, Xiao Chen had felt that the Soul Slayer bow had unlimited potential. Back in the past, he was already able to kill the Zhang clan's first elder with one arrow. Now that his physical strength had reached 6,000 kilograms of force, the might of the Soul Slayer bow would definitely experience a significant increase. However, Xiao Chen was still surprised at it being able to kill a superior grade martial saint that was not on guard. It seems like the might of the Soul Slayer bow is not just limited to this. It is unknown what kind of might it would display when attacking cultivators who trained their body to the sage level. Perhaps it might even be able to shoot down the stars in the sky. Carrying such thoughts, Xiao Chen slowly made his way to the first leader's body. Then he removed the first leader's spatial ring and poured out several tens of thousands of inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen was greatly startled, he had not expected the business of banditry to be so lucrative. No wonder there were so many bandits in the Devil Savanna. Xiao Chen smiled and placed away all of the inferior grade spirit stones. Then, he started to search for other things. There were some trashy spirit weapons and martial technique manuals that were useless. Even so, Xiao Chen simply tossed them into the universe ring. Suddenly, a map gleaming with a spiritual light appeared in Xiao Chen's vision. He picked it up and took a closer look. There were mountains and rivers on the map, and there was a trail indicated by arrows on it. The end point was at the end of a river, it was indicated by a very eye-catching red dot. The end of the river seemed like a vast ocean, and the place the red dot indicated was an island. Xiao Chen was not very familiar with the geography of the Great Qin Nation. Hence, he did not know where the red dot was. The map was made out of an extraordinary material, it was giving off a dense spiritual energy. This should have been made using the beast skin of a high-ranked spirit beast. After he put the map away properly, Xiao Chen muttered, It looks like this map is not simple. If I have time in the future, I should look for an opportunity to find the endpoint of this map. Who knows, maybe I would be able to find a fortuitous encounter. To cultivators, fortuitous encounters were things that everyone sought. In reality, all the experts who were famous had all had fortuitous encounters in some ways. In today's times, it was still the same. Many ordinary cultivators experienced an explosive increase in strength after experiencing a fortuitous encounter, this was a pretty common occurrence. Under similar conditions, like talent, comprehension ability, martial techniques, or cultivation techniques, every genius would be at the same level. If they wanted to stand out from the group and stand at the top, it would depend on what kind of fortuitous encounters they had. The events in the Savage Forest could be considered a fortuitous encounter for Xiao Chen. However, the benefits of this fortuitous encounter were too little. Now that he thought about it, in that fortuitous encounter, all he had obtained were some inferior grade spirit stones and a broken sword. The true benefit was probably taken by Chu Chaoyun. Yi Chen, what did you obtain? I managed to get 4,000 inferior grade spirit stones from those people. They also had several medicinal pills and spirit cores. Adding everything together, it would be worth more than 8,000 inferior grade spirit stones. Just as Xiao Chen was deep in thought, Lu Sufeng's excited voice came from behind. Xiao Chen got up and smiled, I had a pretty good harvest, there are several tens of thousands of inferior grade spirit stones in this fellow's spiritual ring. Lu Sufeng bit his tongue when he heard this. Then he said, this group of bandits are extraordinarily rich. Xiao Chen looked around his surroundings. Vast grass plains filled his vision. As a breeze blew, the withering yellow grass moved as if they were waves. This place is a good place for ambushes. When merchants or lone cultivators go past this place, these bandits would rob them. When there are no merchants, they would kill spirit beasts. As long as they worked hard, it would be hard for them to be poor. Lu Sufeng laughed, 
Then, according to what you said, if we killed off all the bandits, we would be rich. Xiao Chen shook his head, that is not realistic. If we can think of this, others can as well. Yet, the bandits in the savannah are still as active. There must be something that we are not aware of. Lu Sufeng nodded, indeed. I have heard that the three great clans of the Zaihe province once encircled the bandits of the Devil Savanna. However, it resulted in failure. It must be as you have said. After that, the two of them stopped discussing the matter. They got onto their dragon blood horses and quickly continued on their journey. 5,000 meters in the sky, an old man was hidden in the white clouds moving around. He saw everything that had happened on the ground. After a while, he revealed a cautious smile and said, It looks like this request of Song Q's is not easy to complete. I knew that 1000 medial grade spirit stones would not be so easy to obtain. This fellow still has not revealed all of his trump cards. I should keep observing him for a few days. Even Song K found it hard to deal with him. As a mere inferior grade martial king, I should be even more cautious. This old man was called Yu Mingxian. He was an inferior grade martial king who was an independent cultivator. He had a cautious nature and had some fame within the Zaihe province. In his early days, he had once had some dealings with Song Ke. After Yu Mingxian had promised Song Ke to help kill Xiao Chen, he had kept an eye out. Song Ke had actually offered a price of a thousand medial grade spirit stones for an insignificant inferior grade martial saint. After Yu Mingxian verified that Xiao Chen was indeed just an inferior grade martial saint, he became even more cautious. Everything out of the norm had a reason behind it. Yu Mingxian was very clear on what kind of person Song Ke was. If it was something that even he found difficult to deal with, then it was definitely not going to be easy. Indeed, after observing for many days, today's battle verified Yu Mingxian's guess. Although Xiao Chen was only an inferior grade martial saint, his combat prowess was sufficient for him to easily kill a regular superior grade martial saint. His horrifying combat prowess probably had exceeded that of a peak superior grade martial saint. Yu Mingxian muttered, if that was all to him, I would not be afraid. However, if he has an inherited martial spirit, then I will not involve myself in this business. Up until now, Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng were unaware that they were being watched by someone. They simply traversed across the vast devil savanna. In the blink of an eye, five days went by. The two of them continued to meet a few groups of bandits. The end results were the bandits all being killed and robbed instead. Within five days, the number of inferior grade spirit stones they obtained exceeded more than 20,000. Of course, along the way, there were some very strong groups of bandits. Their leaders were martial kings and had thousands of men. Xiao Chen always maintained a state of high alert. He kept his spiritual sense extended out. Whenever he sensed such groups, he would avoid them, keeping a distance of two kilometers. He would definitely not overestimate his own strength. On this particular day, the two of them swept up another group of bandits. After Lu Sufeng searched all the bodies, he said joyfully, I originally thought that this devil savanna would be very dangerous. I did not expect that we would obtain so much unexpected wealth. The amount of spirit stones I've obtained is more than I originally had. Xiao Chen silently shook his head. It seemed like things were too smooth in the past few days, causing Lu Sufeng to be a little overconfident. In reality, the Devil Savannah was filled with danger. It was far from what Lu Sufeng had said. If it were not for Xiao Chen, it would be impossible for Lu Sufeng to travel so far on his own. Any single band of bandits would be able to kill him easily. Even Xiao Chen did not dare to let down his guard in this devil savanna. In the past few days, he had personally seen with his spiritual sense a group of bandits led by a peak martial king. 
It was likely that a regular elder of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion would not be a match for him. He had to say something to warn Lu Sufeng. Hence, Xiao Chen said, in that case, you should continue this journey alone. That would save us the trouble of splitting the spirit stones. When Lu Sufeng heard that, he was immediately stunned. Then he thought about what he had said and felt that it was wrong. He said, Yi Chen, don't worry, I was just saying it. I am still clear on the situation here. Xiao Chen breathed out in relief. It seems like Lu Sufeng was a rational person, he understood when to advance and retreat. Kill. 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 As the two of them were speaking, the breeze carrying the sound of killing to the two of them. Their expressions changed as they quickly stopped speaking and listened carefully. Lu Sufeng said, it sounds like merchants are being attacked by bandits. Should we go take a look? At the end of the of the Devil Savan was the Black Dragon River which pierces through the Great Qin Nation. There was a huge harbor there that could carry the goods of the Great Qin Nation all over the Tianwu continent. Thus, there were many merchants in the Devil Savannah. During these days, the two of them had met many groups of merchants. When they ran into those who needed help, they would always lend a hand. That was why Lu Sufeng asked such a question. Xiao Chen nodded and said, there is a small hill there. We should be able to observe the situation in front from there. We will decide after taking a look. As long as it was within their capabilities, Xiao Chen would do his best to help the merchants. However, if the bandit group was too strong, Xiao Chen would not be silly enough to risk his life, he was cautious in everything he did. The two of them rushed to high ground and they saw the situation in front. It was indeed a group of merchants being attacked by about 500 bandits. The bandits were moving in an uninhibited manner. When they attacked the guards, the guards were unable to retaliate. All of them shouted very excitedly. This group of merchants was rather strange. All the boxes and carriages were embossed with a glittering layer of gold. It was very dazzling under the sunlight. Furthermore, Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng did not see the flags of a merchant association. This proved that they were simply a small merchant association, and so it was not important whether they showed their flag or not. Lu Sufeng felt that it was suspicious. He said, what's wrong with this group of merchants? Why did they make themselves conspicuous? They are simply asking to be robbed. That group of bandits does not seem to be difficult to deal with. Should we help them? Xiao Chen felt it was incredibly strange as well. Most regular merchants would be very low-key so that they would not attract the attention of the bandits. There were even some merchant groups who would make their carriages look very battered and broken down. However, this merchant group was very different. From the boxes containing the goods to the carriages carrying the goods, they were embossed in gold. Even the saddles on the horses were made of pure gold. Xiao Chen thought for a while and said, This group of merchants is quite strange, let's wait for a while. At this moment, the bandits had already pushed their way to the core position of the merchant group. There was an extremely luxurious carriage over there. This carriage was pulled by five horses covered in pure gold. It took up the space of about 10 square meters. The decorations, the handles, and even the wheels were made out of pure gold. How extravagant, Xiao Chen shook his head. This was simply a moving treasury, it would have been a miracle if they were not robbed in the devil savanna. Ha ha ha, we hooked another big fish. Suddenly, a vulgar voice came from the luxurious carriage. Hu Kai. A fat figure flew out from the window of the carriage. That person was holding a huge golden coffin lid in his hands. The fat figure flashed in the air, his speed inconsistent with his figure, he was so fast it was unbelievable. Bang. The coffin lid swept across in the air, and landed on the bandit leader. The saber the bandit leader used to block was directly smashed into pieces by the coffin lid. The coffin lid carried a huge force as it smashed into the bandit leader, 
knocking him flying and causing him to vomit blood, he simply had no way to resist. The fat figure smashed the coffin lid heavily onto the ground. It caused a loud explosion sound and the ground started to tremble. The horses were immediately startled as the ground started to shake left and right. The bandits all fell to the ground. The fat figure shouted, all of you, stop pretending, stand up for this fat lord. The bandits on the ground felt it was strange, who is pretending? We really fell down, even if you did not tell us to get up, we will still stand up. Shua, Shua. However, something that shocked the bandits happened. The guards they had defeated earlier all stood up in vigorous and lively manners, like nothing had happened to them. The auras coming from them were fierce and there was an ominous glint in their eyes. They were all giving off looks filled with malicious intent. These gazes made them look more like bandits than the bandits themselves. The group of bandits slowly gathered together before discovering that they had already been unknowingly surrounded by the merchant's guards. They immediately started to panic. Bang! Suddenly, the fat figure jumped and the coffin lid in his hand headed for the bandit leader who had just stood up. Before the bandit leader could react, he was smashed to the ground again. Blood flowed from his head, and this time, he could not stand up again. The fat figure trampled violently on the bandit leader who was trying to get up. The golden coffin lid was placed on the ground heavily as he cursed, did this fat lord say you could stand up? Yet you still stand up. I will trample you to death. There was a fierce look in the fat figure's eyes as he swept his gaze around. When the other bandits saw the situation of their leader, they immediately understood what the fat figure meant. They all quickly prostrated themselves on the ground. Suddenly the fat figure laughed loudly, I now declare this to be a robbery. Aside from your underwear, leave everything behind. The situation changed instantly. Under the strong aura of the fat figure, the bandits on the ground did not dare to resist. They all prostrated on the ground obediently, not daring to move. When they saw how the leader had ended up, to the point where he was being trampled on, they knew they could only admit their defeat. After a while, a person quickly walked over. This person was the manservant from Whitewater City in the past. He said, young master, I have counted everything. There was a total of 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones. If we included their other goods, the total would be 15,000 inferior grade spirit stones. The fat figure frowned slightly and said something that made the bandits want to vomit blood, why is there so little? Did you do as I said? Have you checked their underwear? Up on the hill, Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng were watching what happened. They both felt very astonished. Xiao Chen revealed a faint smile on his face. Coincidentally, he had to settle accounts with this fatty. He had not expected to bump into him here. Actually, he should have guessed it long ago. Only the damn fatty, Jin Badao, would use such a gaudy and tasteless carriage. Lu Sufeng felt like he was enlightened as he said, so, it is the Jin clan's Jin Dabao. No wonder they were being so flamboyant. I actually misjudged them earlier. When Xiao Chen heard this, he was mildly surprised. He asked, you know him. Lu Sufeng nodded and explained, he is the young master of the Great Tang Nation's top merchant association, the Golden Rock Merchant Association. They are one of the five great merchant association under the heavens, and they are in a similar position as the Great Qin Nation's Feng Yu Merchant Association. The Golden Rock Merchant Association used to not have any fame in the Great Qing Nation. However, in the past few years, they established a connection with the Heavenly Craft Manor. They are now very active in the Great Qin Nation. One of the five great merchant associations, to think this fatty's origins are so great, Xiao Chen sighed to himself when he heard Lu Sufeng's explanation. Xiao Chen had guessed his origins to be extraordinary long ago. However, he had not expected that his origins would be so shocking. 
Lu Su Feng had a somewhat panicked look in his eyes. He said, Yi Chen, we should leave quickly. This person does not have a good reputation. If he targets us, it would not be a good thing. Xiao Chen felt it was strange, so he asked, why? Lu Su Feng said, his reputation in the Zaihe province is extremely horrible. According to rumors, the heir of the three noble clans of the Zaihe province's Yan clan was thoroughly humiliated by him in the Dongming province. After he came back, he felt so humiliated and ashamed that he vanished. Xiao Chen sweated in his heart, this rumor was not just horrifying on an ordinary level. Yan Qian was clearly killed by him, yet the rumors turned it into disappearance out of shame. Xiao Chen smiled faintly, they are just rumors. Come, I have some accounts to settle with this fatty. Despite Lu Su Feng's shocked gaze, Xiao Chen had already left the hill and was heading over quickly. The fatty had a cocky smile on his face. However, when he accidentally noticed Xiao Chen rushing over, he was startled. He thought he saw wrongly. When he took another look to verify it, he quickly released the bandit leader and ran back. Azure Dragon Tail Whip. Xiao Chen shouted and then created a purple arc in the air, like a flood dragon moving in the air. With a Shua sound, he landed before Jin Dabao. Brother Dabao, we meet again. Don't you recognize me? Why are you running so fast? Xiao Chen stood before Jin Badao and smiled gently. Jin Dabao revealed an awkward smile and put the coffin lid into his spatial ring. He said, I really almost could not recognize you, I thought it was some expert. Xiao Chen said indifferently, stop pretending. Ying Yu came to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion not long ago. Don't you have something to explain? Jin Dabao put on a righteous expression and said, that woman forced me, you have to believe me. She had dirt on me. I was forced into a helpless state, that's why I said that. If I believed you, I'd be an idiot, Xiao Chen could not be bothered with him. He said, I knew you would say that. Stop speaking nonsense. The sculpture actually sold for 100 inferior grade spirit stones each, how many are you going to give me? Jin Dabao laughed embarrassedly, what kind of relationship do we have? Talking about money will hurt our feelings. Come, let's go into my carriage. Don't say anything else, let me receive you properly. Lu Su Feng quickly rushed over. When he saw Jin Dabao pandering to Xiao Chen, he was extremely astonished. He did not expect the difficult to deal with Jin Dabao to be able to show such an expression. Up in the sky, inside a floating cloud, Yu Mingxian frowned slightly, I can pretty much verify that he does not have an inherited martial spirit. However, he is mixing with the Golden Rock Merchant Association's people. It seems like I can only wait for another opportunity. Inside the luxurious carriage, Xiao Chen and Jin Dabao were both sitting in front of a table. Compared to the outside decorations, the inside was much plainer. Even though they were rushing along at a high speed, the carriage was extremely stable. Xiao Chen, who was sitting inside, did not feel any shaking. Jin Dabao looked at Xiao Bai, who was sitting beside him, and smiled. He said, this Xiao Bai is growing to be more and more lovable. Fu Si. Just as Jin Dabao was stretching out his hand to rub its head, he was scratched viciously by Xiao Bai's claws before he could touch it. He exclaimed, you are still this fierce. Fortunately, this fat lord's skin is very thick, so nothing happened. Xiao Chen laughed and asked, how are your investigations into the Tianwu Emperor's tomb? Xiao Chen had always been quite curious about the Tianwu Emperor's tomb in the ancient remnant. However, he had not had any time to investigate. Coincidentally, he had met Jin Dabao. Naturally, he had to ask. Jin Dabao stopped smiling and shook his head, there is no useful news. I can only be sure that the corpse did indeed belong to the last Tianwu Emperor and Chu Chaoyun did take it away. After that, Chu Chaoyun was in closed door training, 
He has only come out recently. Xiao Chen had a grave expression. Honestly speaking, since he left Mohe City, he had rarely suffered a disadvantage. However, he not suffered disadvantages more than once at the hands of Chu Chaoyun. Xiao Chen felt a deep fear toward this person. Hence, he wanted to hear news about him. He continued to ask, how is his cultivation? Are there any definitive references? Jin Dabao said, I did not see it personally but he is at the very least a peak superior grade martial saint. That golden coffin can definitely help a cultivator increase their speed of cultivation. Lying in the coffin can increase the speed of cultivation, this is very strange. Xiao Chen felt suspicious and said, how do you know? The fatty chuckled and said, don't forget, this fat lord also obtained a piece of the coffin. After researching it for a long time, I am certain of this conclusion. Xiao Chen had a pretty deep impression of the golden coffin lid. When it was swung around, it looked very ordinary. However, his spiritual sense detected a fluctuation in space around it. As it was swung around, it seemed like it broke through space and created an immature small realm. Xiao Chen collected his thoughts and asked in a sullen voice, did Chu Chaoyun obtain the heavenly flame inherited by the Tianwu Emperor? This was the thing Xiao Chen was the most concerned about. Although it was only a tenth of the inherited heavenly flame, its might was still incredibly horrifying. If Chu Chaoyun could grasp it completely, it would be much stronger than Xiao Chen's current purple thunder true fire. Xiao Chen was not afraid of Chu Chaoyun's cultivation realm being higher than his. As long as it did not exceed it by an entire realm, with his combat prowess, he would not fear a peak martial saint. However, if Chu Chaoyun grasped the purple thunder true fire, then everyone would fear him. His talent, martial techniques, cultivation technique, and martial spirit were all amongst the peak of those in the same generation. If he had completely grasped the purple thunder true fire, then he could be said to be unrivaled amongst martial saints. Jin Dabao had a grave expression as he said, you best be mentally prepared. I estimate that he is already able to use a quarter of the tenth of heavenly flame at the very least. Furthermore, he probably has obtained the inherited martial technique of the Tianwu dynasty, the life extinguishing blood reversing swordplay. If it were in the past, Xiao Chen would be doubtful of the fatty's words. However, now that he knew the fatty was the young master of the Golden Rock Merchant Association, he was very confident in him. In terms of information gathering, even the royal courts of every nation would not be as well informed as these merchant associations. In doing business, information was the most important thing. Suddenly, Jin Dabao seemed to have thought of something. That's right. You should be heading to Zaihe City to participate in the Linlang Pavilion's auction. Chu Chaoyun will be participating as well, you might bump into him there. Chu Chaoyun is going to participate in the auction as well, Xiao Chen frowned slightly. Suddenly, he had the feeling that this auction was going to be more complicated than he had imagined. Xiao Chen cupped a palm over his fist and said, thank you. I will be careful and do my best to avoid him. The fatty laughed loudly and said, no need to thank me. What kind of relationship do we have? Let me tell you some other news. The strength of your old opponents all soared suddenly. Duan Mu Ching practiced her profound ice incantation to the ninth layer. Her strength is now even more horrifying. Whoever who looks at her now will feel like they fell into an ice cave. Hua Yunfei's martial spirit has already deeply awakened. His bloody death sword technique has been practiced to great perfection. He's now turned incredibly sinister, extremely strange. Of course, the most horrifying ones are not these two. Instead, it is the Gai Marquis and Ji Changkong. In terms of gains, these two people have gained the most in the ancient remnant after Chu Chaoyun. Xiao Chen felt suspicious and asked, how so? Our gains are quite significant, could their gains be better than ours? The fatty laughed in disdain, 
our gains are considered nothing much. Let's talk about the Gai Marquis first. This fellow obtained the inherited holy weapon of the Tianwu dynasty, the Sky Splitting Sword. Originally, I thought it was just a damaged holy weapon missing its Daos, so I did not care for it. After all, even though such damaged holy weapons are rare, they are not worth much. However, now I know that this fellow was very lucky. That sky splitting sword had been passed down from the first generation Tianwu Emperor until now. Its Daos were actually completely intact. Although some of it was lost in the past thousand years, it would be able to be recovered after ten years. The so-called holy weapons referred to the weapons the ancient sages used. At that time, a cultivator's realm was differentiated in a different manner than it is now. The ancient sage was very different from the current martial sage. In terms of strength, the ancient sage was equivalent to the modern martial emperor. A martial sage would be nothing when compared to the ancient sages. At that time, weapons were also ranked differently from the current method. They did not have the heaven, earth, profound, or yellow rankings for spirit weapons. The sages had comprehended some of the heavenly Daos and every move they made, they would affect the laws of heaven and earth. Furthermore, since the weapons they used would bask in the natural laws of heaven and earth for a long time, they would slowly gain a trace of the Tao. Although the Daos of these weapons were no longer complete after being passed down for 10,000 years, the essence of the weapons was not damaged at all. When cultivators used the holy weapons, they would make use of these incomplete Daos. When they made a move, they could change the laws of heaven and earth slightly. When they were fighting, they could achieve unexpected effects. However, because the Daos were not complete, it was extremely difficult to truly change the law of heaven and earth. Sometimes, unexpected situations might occur. Succeeding once out of ten tries was pretty good already. However, if one had a holy weapon with complete Daos, then it would be a different story. It would be possible to succeed five out of ten tries. If one was able to comprehend the Daos within it, every time they made a move, they could change the laws of heaven and earth slightly. This raised the strength of a cultivator to a horrifying level. Fatty Jin took a sip of tea and continued, as for Ji Changkong, his luck is even better. This fellow's talent is simply too high. The sage Dao comprehension picture has been almost fully grasped by him. Every move he makes, there is a slight trace of the Tao. Its effects are better than a holy weapon. Xiao Chen smiled bitterly, he was speechless. This was the so-called, fortuitous encounter. Although fortuitous encounters were hard to discern, it strongly relied on luck. It was something that truly existed. In the same fortuitous encounter, some obtained nothing and even ended up feeding the spirit beasts, dying without a complete corpse. Some were very lucky, resulting in their strength soaring, letting them stand out from the crowd. These were people with great luck. There were many strong people who had such encounters, turning the other cultivators in the same era into stepping stones. Furthermore, their fame ended up being passed down, never being forgotten forevermore. Xiao Chen thought to himself, in two years' time, I must defeat these people. Otherwise, I would never be able to compete with them in terms of luck. Even if he had other fortuitous encounters, with good luck, he would not have much gains. In the long term, he would become the stepping stone for others. Xiao Chen thought of something and said, going from your earlier tone, you don't seem to be going to the auction in Zaihe City. Jin Dabao nodded and said, I have seen too many auctions and I can't be bothered to go. If I really want to obtain some peak treasures, I will have to go the ancient desolate lands underground auction or the top-notch auction conducted by the great Jin nation. That is the truly big stage. Let me tell you. Seeing the fatty enter into sales mode, Xiao Chen knew that it would go on and on with stopping. So Xiao Chen quickly stopped him, saying, wait, you don't have to tell me about that. 
since you are not going to Zaihe City, could it be that you really have goods that you are sending to the other nations by the Black Dragon River? Earlier, when Xiao Chen had some time, he had used his spiritual sense to scan the fatty's golden boxes. In the end, he discovered that they were all empty, there was nothing in there at all. Although the fatty had many spatial rings on his fingers, it would not be sufficient to carry goods. An ordinary spatial ring could only contain about several dozen square feet of space. If they wanted to carry a large number of goods, it would be impossible. As for the top quality spatial rings, not to even mention their rarity, even the highest quality spatial ring only had several hundred square feet of space. It would still be insufficient to carry a large number of goods. Hence, when the fatty said he was not going to Zaihe City, Xiao Chen was quite surprised. Since he was not transporting goods or participating in the auction, then what was the fatty doing in the Devil Savannah? The fatty smiled, of course it is impossible. I have not used the Devil Savannah's trading route before, so I cannot take this route for now. My purpose in coming here is to investigate the legend of the Devil Savannah's treasure. Legend. Xiao Chen laughed involuntarily, you came specially all the way to the Devil Savannah for a legend. Who are you kidding? There must be more to this. Fatty Jin said, naturally, there is some truth to this. In the past, there was a group of bandits there that caused terror on this Devil Savan. The strength of the bandit leader was unfathomable. People estimate him to be at the very least a martial sage. If one wanted to use this trade route, one would have to pay him a toll. All the merchant associations which resisted did not have a good ending. He enjoyed a monopoly on this golden trade route. In the end, the amount of wealth he accumulated had reached an astonishing level. Xiao Chen bit his tongue, he was in disbelief, a martial sage that did not focus on cultivating, and instead ran here to be a bandit. Do you think that is possible? When one reached martial sage, their standards were much higher than ordinary people's. They viewed worldly goods very lightly. After all, they pursued the peak of the martial way. Very rarely would someone care about these material goods. Fatty Jin said, why is that impossible? Back when the three great clans of the Zaihe province took out bandits in the savanna, do you think they were simply attacking the bandits? It was actually so they could obtain the map that was left. Even your heavenly saber pavilion had sent people a few times before. When Xiao Chen heard the word, map, he was startled. He asked, he left behind a map. What do you mean? Can you give me more details? Fatty Jin thought for a while before saying, all men will die someday. This is the same even for martial emperors. Naturally, martial sages are no exception. After this person died, he buried all the wealth he accumulated on an island within the boundless ocean. He left his descendants many maps. These maps listed the location of the island in detail. Furthermore, you can only open the door to the treasury if you have the map. Unfortunately, his descendants were too useless. Not long after he died, his descendants were all slaughtered by his previous enemies. Hence, the map was scattered all over. Once, someone obtained it and followed the map to find the island. However, stormy seas surrounded the island. Even a martial king was not able to enter, so they could only watch without being able to do anything. Later on, someone coincidentally found out that the storms would go away for a period of time once every hundred years. Hence, the maps became useful again. The treasures in there were not placed together. Every time people went in, they were able to bring out large amounts of treasures. Of course, many people died in there. Now, this hundred year wait is almost over again. Hence, this fat lord intends to try my luck. I am already considerably slow. I do not know whether the three nobles clans managed to obtain the map when they attacked the bandits that time. Jin Dabao spoke slowly and tirelessly but his information was very well organized. The moment Xiao Chen heard them, 
he understood it. I wonder if the map I have is the one the fatty is looking for. Xiao Chen thought for a while before asking, how long more is it to the end of this hundred years? The fatty thought for a while before answering, about a year. This fat lord intends to spend this year in the devil savanna. Even if I don't find the map, I will be able to make some extra income. There is still one year. In that case, there is no need to rush, Xiao Chen thought, I can put this aside for a while. After traveling for half the day in the carriage, the pair parted with Jin Dabao. Jin Dabao continued his strategy of being live bait to attract more bandits and the pair headed to the exit of the Devil Savanna. Along the way, Xiao Chen asked, Su Feng, have you heard of the legend regarding the treasure map of the Devil Savanna? Lu Su Feng thought for a long time before he said, I seem to have heard of it before but I did not pay too much attention to it. I have almost forgotten about it. Are you thinking of going treasure hunting? Xiao Chen smiled and said, I don't have the time for it now. My main goal is to grasp listening to the sword and communicating with it. There is finally some progress in it, I do not wish to be distracted by other stuff. The two of them traveled for another three days. Because they were already near the edge of the Devil Savannah, the number of bandit encounters decreased. Instead, they saw an increasing number of merchants. On this particular afternoon, the outline of a small village appeared in their vision. Lu Sufeng said excitedly, we finally exited this savanna. After traveling for another half a day, we will be able to reach Zaihe City. Xiao Chen also felt a slight sense of relief. Although there were no physical problems with camping outdoors for several days, they were mentally fatigued. The nameless village's front was specially set up for the merchants and cultivators passing through the savanna to resupply. There were inns and some markets around. Many cultivators doing experiential training in the devil savanna would choose to peddle their wares in this place. Although this village was small, it was bustling and noisy. The two of them found an inn. After a good meal, they both went to their rooms and rested. Within the room, Xiao Chen sat cross-legged on the bed. The Qi whirlpool in his dantian spun slowly. The purple thunder divine incantation circulated slowly in his meridians. ZZ. Immediately, countless arcs of electricity appeared in the room, making non-stop crackling noises. A pure lightning attributed spiritual energy poured into Xiao Chen's body. The density of spiritual energy below the Lingyun mountain range was very thin, it was not comparable at all. Xiao Chen felt the difference to be at least 50%. There was such a large difference. No wonder the big sects were such a strong attraction for so many cultivators. After four hours, Xiao Chen stopped circulating his energies. When he opened his eyes, the electricity in the room still had not faded yet, and was flickering occasionally. Xiao Chen frowned slightly, the state of thunder seems to experience improvements almost every day. At this rate, I might not even be able to execute the twisting road around peak. I have to find a lightning attributed martial technique. Bang! 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 Knocking sounds came from the door. Lu Sufeng's voice came from outside, Yi Chen, I am going to go out to sell some spirit cores and other materials. Do you want to come with me? There were many merchants purchasing all sorts of spirit beast materials. Because they were dressed like cultivators, when they were on their way to the inn, many merchants inquired about it. Because they were in a hurry to get some rest, they rejected them all. Now that they had rested for a while, it was not a bad idea to sell to them when they thought about it. The Zaihe City's auction was going to start in three days. It would feel more assuring to have more spirit stones on hand. Xiao Chen did not overthink it and simply agreed to the suggestion. They walked out of the inn and headed for the busiest area of the market. Purchasing all wind attributed spirit cores at high prices. Only wind attributed wanted regardless of rank. I will take whatever you have. 
Open for business for two hours, so come quickly. Selling 10 rank 5 spirit cores of various attributes. There are also high ranked spirit beast skins. Purchasing 10 stalks of desolate grass. Cultivators with this, please come to me quickly. The sound of people shouting out their wares entered their ears, it was extremely bustling. There were cultivators with stalls on both sides of the street. Merchants could continuously go around asking about the price. Although the place seemed very messy, there was something managing the place. They did not allow people to set up stalls without permission. If they did so, they would be chased out by the managers. Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng went to the management center and queued up for an hour before they obtained a spot to set up a stall. The manager handed the stall, a signboard, and all sorts of other tools to the two of them, their services were quite comprehensive. However, the price was quite astonishing. Lu Sufeng even felt it was overpriced. Setting up a stall for two hours was ten inferior grade spirit stones. Xiao Chen used a brush and wrote on the signboard, selling spirit cores and all sorts of materials. All purchases to be done in spirit stones. After Xiao Chen wrote that down, he smiled, never mind, it is just 10 inferior grade spirit stones. It is nothing to you. Let's set up the stall first and hope there will be a big customer buying everything in one go. When they arrived at the stall, they changed out the signboard. After a while, a merchant in luxurious golden clothes walked over. This merchant was about 40 years old and had two martial saint guards. A wide smile filled his slightly plump face. These two brothers, are you selling spirit cores? The middle-aged merchant said while smiling. Xiao Chen nodded, the spirit cores are all rank 3 and above. There are about 3,000 of them. Aside from those, there are some spirit beast skins, all also rank 3 at the very least. Most of these spirit cores were obtained by looting the bandits that attacked them. There was also a small portion that was obtained by them hunting spirit beasts on their way. Spatial rings have limited space and after they tidied them up, they threw away all the rank 2 spirit cores, keeping only rank 3 and above. Even so, they still accumulated more than 3,000, their value was considerable. The middle-aged merchant was mildly startled. He had not expected to be able to make such a large transaction the moment he inquired. The expression on his face changed as he asked, may I see the goods? Xiao Chen nodded and Lu Sufeng took out all the spirit cores they had from their spatial rings. They also took out all the materials they had. The large pile of spirit cores filled up the entire stall. Immediately, countless gazes were fired over. Amidst the greedy and envious looks, Xiao Chen could actually feel some gazes filled with killing intent. This was not very strange, the cultivators here were people who lived on the edge of a blade. All of them had blood on their hands. It was a common occurrence for a person to get killed for their wealth here. Xiao Chen smiled faintly and ignored them. He asked, what do you think? Offer your price. The middle-aged merchant felt joyful in his heart but his expression did not change. He probed, do you accept gold? If you do, I can give you a better price. When Xiao Chen saw the usefulness of spirit stones, he no longer cared for gold. Hence, he shook his head decisively. Lu Sufeng said, are you unable to afford it? The middle-aged merchant laughed loudly, just asking. I am able to afford this amount of spirit stones. Here is my offer, 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones. I want them all. We can conclude the transaction here or you may choose another location. The middle-aged merchant also understood the principle of not showing off your wealth. So he kindly offered two methods for making the transaction and allowed them to choose. Xiao Chen thought for a while, this merchant has an unknown background. Although making the transaction here would reveal the wealth, if we make the transaction elsewhere, we still have to be on our guard against this merchant. 
Both methods carried a certain amount of risk and should not be chosen lightly. Xiao Chen chose to make the transaction immediately. At least they would be able to obtain the spirit stones immediately, making them feel assured. The middle-aged merchant did not hesitate and called over the guard beside him. Then, the guard brought up his spatial ring and bumped it against Xiao Chen's universe ring. In the next instant, Xiao Chen felt many spirit stones appear in his universe ring. When he counted them, it was exactly 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones. The middle-aged merchant took out a business card and handed it to Xiao Chen and Lu Sufang. He smiled as he said, the surname of this humble self is Guan. I work for the Young Clans Merchant Association. I hope there will be more opportunities for us to cooperate again in the future. If you bring this business card to any Young Clan shop, you can enjoy a 10% discount. Young Clan, Xiao Chen was deep in thought. A merchant who could take out 10,000 spirit stones on short notice, within the Zaihe province, it could only be that young clan. Xiao Chen put away the business card properly. When the merchant left far away, he said, we can't stay here tonight. When have to rush to the harbor while it is still dark. We have been targeted. Lu Sufeng nodded. A transaction of 10,000 inferior grade spirit stones was considered a huge transaction in this small village. Furthermore, they were only inferior grade martial saints. It would be strange if they were not targeted. The two of them returned to the inn, did some simple tidying up, and replenished some food supplies. Then, they rode on the dragon blood horses, leaving the nameless village quickly. As the sun was setting, the sky was dyed red. Huge red clouds covered the entire western sky. A soft glow shone on Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng, leaving behind two long shadows. Dong! 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 The people coming to rob them were faster than they had thought. The two of them had only left for about 10 minutes and the road in front was already blocked by cultivators carrying their weapons and surging with killing qi. Xiao Chen took a quick glance at them, counting 18 people in total. The weakest of them was an inferior grade martial saint and there were two who had already advanced to superior grade martial saint. Xiao Chen's gaze lingered on the two people for a while. One of them was dressed in white. He was holding a sword with a cold light gleaming on its edge. It was especially dazzling under the light of the sunset. The other person was wearing battle armor with a shirt on, his arms were uncovered. He was holding a two meter long spear and there was a fierce expression on his face. Beside each of them was a group of cultivators, who seemed like they were together with the two of them. The white swordsman slowly walked forward. When he saw Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng, he revealed a faint smile on his face. He said, we are only seeking fortune and do not wish to hurt anyone. Leave your spirit stones behind and we will guarantee your safety. The blue clothed person holding the spear was releasing a killing chi without reserve. There was a fierce look in his eyes as he said, I am not a patient person. Make up your mind quickly for the good of everyone. Otherwise, I will make you wish you could die. The aura from the two of them, superior grade martial saints, slowly extended out, pressuring Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng. When the two huge auras merged together, even the air seemed to turn solid. This made it difficult for people to breath. Lu Sufeng could not help but panic. He took out his identity token and said, we are core disciples of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. Scram aside and I will pretend nothing happened. Otherwise, even if you flee to the ends of the world, you will not escape the pursuit of the Divine Saber Camp. Xiao Chen shook his head and he subconsciously placed his hand on the Saber Hilt. This group of people already knew of their identities, otherwise, they would not waste so much time speaking nonsense. If it were some inferior grade martial saint with no background, they would have charged over fearlessly long ago. There would be no need to use such tricks to threaten them. They must be afraid of the revenge of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. 
However, since this group of people dared to chase after them, it proved that these were desperate criminals and were not particularly afraid of the revenge from the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. If it was possible, they would like not to offend the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. Even if they offended the Heavenly Saber Pavilion, they would simply take the large number of spirit stones and leave the Zaihe province, hiding in the vast ocean. By then, the Heavenly Saber Pavilion would not be able to do anything to them. Their auras rose slowly, contained and not unleashed. Unknowingly, the sky above them had turned dark. The dark clouds were rolling and the might of thunder was formed. The blue-clothed spearman smiled and said coldly, Do you think we scare easy? You are just two inferior grade martial saint corps disciples, do you think the heavenly saber pavilion would activate the divine saber camp for you? I repeat, hand over all your spirit stones. The white-clothed man continued to reveal a faint smile. He looked incomparably calm as he said, both of you, we are just seeking fortune. Don't mind him. Just leave the spirit stones behind, it will be good for everyone. These two people were playing good cop, bad cop. If a sect disciple with no experience were to encounter such a situation, they would have handed over all the spirit stones in their hands. Unfortunately, Xiao Chen could not be bothered about it. His right hand, which was grasping the saber hilt, swung out heavily. The strength he had been gathering for a long time was suddenly unleashed. He sent back the pressure back at them in an instant. Rumble. There was a crack of thunder in the silent sky. A resplendent saber light lit up and a bolt of lightning descended from the sky, lighting up the space in between the sky and ground as it met the saber. Xiao Chen's figure arrived before the white-clothed man. There was a flash of saber light and his aura surged to the sky. The white-clothed swordsman felt fear in his heart. He had not expected Xiao Chen to make his move so suddenly. Furthermore, his first move was such a thunderous move. His aura suppressed the both of us without mercy. His speed and strength are almost at the peak. This is not a naive greenhorn. From the very start, he had not intended to flee or hand over the spirit stones. However, we all thought victory was assured and were not aware that the opponent was preparing such a shocking move. Many thoughts flashed through the white-clothed swordsman in an instant. He did his best to retreat, losing the initiative. His aura dropped to a low point. Even so, how could he have dodged the move Xiao Chen was storing up strength for so long for? Pu Si. The saber light flashed and a horrifying wound appeared on his chest. Blood spurted out like a fountain. The blade of the saber carried the power of thunder, causing his body to be knocked flying and fall heavily on the ground. Who? The blue-clothed man reacted quickly. He swung his spear and a fire dragon circled the spear and roared relentlessly. He was trying to disrupt Xiao Chen's pace, causing him to give up chasing after the injured white-clothed swordsman. Bang! The spear roared out and the fire dragon swallowed up Xiao Chen. The blue-clothed man felt joyful, to think I thought he was so powerful, he is merely just so-so. However, before he could smile, he saw the figure struck by his spear suddenly shatter, it was simply an afterimage. Azure dragon tail whip, clear wind chop. Xiao Chen's figure appeared from the side and moved in a purple arc. There was a cool breeze blowing as well. In an instant, he pierced through the crowd and headed for the white-clothed swordsman. The white-clothed swordsman was startled. He started spinning his sword like a drill and rushed at Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen clenched his left hand into a fist and circulated the dragon and tiger body sculpting art at the same time. The bones in his body were all giving off a crackling sound. When his fist punched out, even the air trembled non-stop. Bang! The punch landed on the tip of the sword and the sword's blade immediately shattered into countless pieces. Xiao Chen sent out a wave of essence from his body and the shrapnel flew off into the surroundings without harming him. However, Xiao Chen's momentum was not diminished. 
When he was near the swordsman, the lunar shadow saber vanished and his killing intent was withdrawn, resulting in one not being able to figure out what was going on. In the face of the cool breeze, the swordsman lost all hope. He knew this was the famous secret technique of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion, the clear wind chop. Once it got near him, there was no way of dodging. Furthermore, he was currently severely injured and far from his peak condition. There was no way for him to dodge. The other people were all hiding, the shrapnel from earlier was used by Xiao Chen to cause chaos. No one would be helping him. Even if I die, I will drag you down with me. The white-clothed man revealed a savage look as he shouted. A light was shining from his dantian, he was using a secret technique to explode himself. Xiao Chen's expression did not change. Instead, his speed increased and he arrived before the white-clothed person. When that light was at its brightest, the lunar shadow saber appeared from nowhere and pierced into his dantian. After that, Xiao Chen kicked him flying, these movements were continuous without a break. Bang! The person's corpse exploded in the air. His body no longer remained intact, leaving only a rain of blood scattered into the air. This white-clothed man was actually not weak. Under normal circumstances, if Xiao Chen wanted to kill him, he would have had to exchange more than a hundred moves with him before he could do so. Unfortunately, he was too careless at the start. He did not expect Xiao Chen to suddenly make a move. He also had not expected Xiao Chen's attack to be so fierce. While he let his guard down, he was heavily injured. In the end, he completely lost all hope for himself. After the death of the white-clothed man, a few of the cultivators fighting with Lu Sufeng immediately fled. These were the subordinates of the white-clothed man. Since he was dead already, there was no need for them to stay. Now, only the blue-clothed spearman and his eight subordinates remained. After the white-clothed man died, the blue-clothed man was in a panic, and he did not have any motivation to make a move. He knew Xiao Chen was not an ordinary inferior grade martial saint, there must be something special about him. In terms of pure combat prowess, he was already able to put other superior grade martial saints to shame. His aura was currently already diminished, if he wanted to raise it up again, he would have to put in a lot of effort. Fighting the opponent's soaring aura with his diminished one was not a very wise move. Flee. The blue-clothed spearman shouted decisively. He was focused on Xiao Chen, keeping his guard up as he leapt toward the back. This person had a rich combat experience, and he was also rather intelligent. When he was retreating he did not show his back at all. After he had left very far and was sure Xiao Chen would not chase after him, the blue-clothed man immediately turned around and his speed increased explosively, disappearing from Xiao Chen's view after a while. Lu Sufeng felt it was strange. Given Xiao Chen's character, he would not let this person off so easily. Xiao Chen simply stood at his original spot muttering non-stop. The blue-clothed man had already left for a long time but he was still not moving. He did not relax his aura and stayed on guard. When Xiao Chen had made a move to kill the white-clothed man, he had felt a horrible killing chi from the sky. In that instant, he had even felt the threat of death. Furthermore, this aura was very elusive. When he noticed it, it immediately vanished, becoming calm again. Xiao Chen expended his spiritual sense to its maximum range but was not able to spot anything. However, this made Xiao Chen not dare to let down his guard even more, nor did he dare to relax his aura. Lu Sufeng felt that something was wrong. He asked quietly, Yi Chen, what's wrong? Xiao Chen looked at a certain cloud in the sky. He said, along the way, I kept feeling that there was a pair of eyes watching us. I am now sure of it, he wants to kill me. This person's strength is at the very least a peak superior grade martial saint with a flying martial technique. The worst case scenario is that this person is a martial king. Lu Sufeng was startled, 
and he revealed a worried expression as he asked, what should we do? Xiao Chen sheathed his saber and smiled, no matter, there is no need to be too worried. If this person's strength was truly that terrifying, he could have followed us for this long. Earlier, he gave up the thought of making a move. This means that he had just lost all opportunities to kill me. This person is overly cautious. He completely lacks the sharp spirit of a cultivator, he will only be a second-rate expert forever. Up in the clouds, Yu Mingxin was originally preparing to make a move. However, he realized Xiao Chen had noticed his killing Qi at the crucial moment. Going by Yu Mingxin's principle of being cautious, when the opponent had already noticed the killing Qi, it could no longer be called a killing move. This was how he had always been doing things. This was what he had learned from his experience staying alive as a lone cultivator for such a long time. There are many opportunities, one cannot attack blindly. As Yu Mingxin watched Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng leave, he said indifferently, it looks like I'll have to hide my killing Qi even deeper next time. I have to be sure of killing him in one strike and not leave behind any signs. By the time the sun had completely sunk beneath the horizon, Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng finally rushed to the Black Dragon River's harbor. There were lanterns lighting up the harbor, making the area as bright as day. Large merchant ships appeared in Xiao Chen's vision, this was an eye-opener for him. The ships were about 40 to 50 meters tall and 5 or 600 meters long. They were very similar to the huge oil tankers from his previous world. When Lu Sufeng saw Xiao Chen's astonishment, he explained, there are many aquatic monsters in the Black Dragon River. Furthermore, the waves and winds are very strong. A middle-sized ship would not be able to withstand even one wave. In addition, more of the ships here are going to set out for the sea. The situation in the sea is even more complicated. If the ships are not made bigger, they would not be able to withstand a single wave, or what's more, a sea monster. So that was why, the doubts in Xiao Chen's heart cleared. The two of them searched for the manager of a merchant ship. After they explained their intentions, they paid 10,000 taels of gold each and obtained the rights to board the ship. The two of them directly rode their dragon blood horses onto the ship from the harbor. The broad deck meant that it was not cramped for the horses. Soon, the workers of the merchant ship came and led the two dragon blood horses away. Although the deck was very broad, they did not allow the horses to wander around on it. The deck was filled with cultivators who were catching a ride. Most of them were likely cultivators going to Zaihe city for the auction. Xiao Chen stood at the bow and held onto the rails gently. A cool breeze was blowing along the river. The breeze contained the refreshing scent of the river, making one feel relaxed and comfortable. Xiao Chen looked forward into the darkness. The dark night was not any obstruction to his vision at all, and he was able to see the scenery very clearly. The width of the Black Dragon River was much broader than he had thought. The huge merchant ships were simply like black dots in the darkness, they did not even occupy 1% of the river. With one look, if it were not for the color of the river, most people would mistake it for the sea. Lu Sufeng came over and said, Yi Chen, the ship will depart tomorrow. There are not many empty rooms left in the ship, we will have to spend the next three days on the deck. A merchant ship was different from a passenger ship. The inside of this ship was mostly filled with goods. As the two of them were relatively late, it was not surprising for them not be able to get a room. Xiao Chen smiled, that's nothing. We already spent so many days on the savannah. This is just three days on the deck. They found an empty spot and Xiao Chen sat down cross-legged, entering into a state of cultivation. However, as there were many people here, the activities from circulating the Purple Thunder Divine Incantation would be too big. Xiao Chen did not want to attract too much attention. Hence, Xiao Chen slowly circulated the dragon and tiger body sculpting art. 
He was prepared to cultivate this cultivation technique that specializes in tempering the body. Many cultivators on deck were cultivating as well. There were very few people speaking, so the deck was very quiet and peaceful. The next morning, when the rays of sunlight eliminated the final bits of darkness and shone on the deck, the cultivating cultivators slowly woke up. Xiao Chen opened his eyes as well. The instant he got up, there were crackling sounds coming from his bones. His entire body felt relaxed and his spirit felt good. The dragon and tiger body sculpting art had a total of five layers. The first two layers were the foundation and the last three were the main parts of the cultivation technique. As of today, Xiao Chen had already reached the middle stage of the fourth layer, dragon roar covering the world, piercing through the sky, and was heading for great perfection. If Xiao Chen could cultivate this to great perfection, a casual roar from Xiao Chen would be like a dragon and tiger roaring. The drawn-out energy could pierce through the nine heavens and scatter the clouds. As for the fifth layer, dragon tendon tiger bone, pulling mountain and rivers, that was the true rebirth of the body. Ordinary weapons would no longer hurt Xiao Chen. Furthermore, his qi and blood would increase explosively, his strength would be able to achieve more than 10,000 kilograms of force. The crackling sounds of Xiao Chen's bones attracted the attention of many cultivators. In an instant, many people seemed to notice an indistinct tiger and dragon on Xiao Chen's body. It is really rare to see cultivators who focus on tempering the body nowadays. The strength of the physical body is inferior. After one reaches Martial King, the might of essence is very horrifying. A casual punch would be able to split mountains. Tempering the body is just a waste of time. Indeed, in the martial saint realm or before, one might be able to gain an advantage with a strong physical body. However, in the latter stages, the quality of essence is the stronger method. If he had purely focused on cultivating the physical body, he would be a good seedling. Unfortunately, he is dual cultivating. Sooner or later, he will not be able to keep up both methods, causing his cultivation to come to a halt. When many cultivators saw Xiao Chen's strong physical body, they all sighed and expressed regret with their words. Xiao Chen smiled and ignored them. He believed that his way was the correct way. This was especially so after he saw what the previous pavilion master had left behind in the underground world, this made his belief even firmer. Cultivating the physical body together with essence would indeed result in him being slower than regular people. Perhaps Xiao Chen would take a longer time to become a martial sage when compared to people of the same generation. However, it would be impossible to advance to marital emperor without a strong body. Even if not impossible, the chances were very slim. At that time, Xiao Chen would surpass all the other people. When Xiao Chen went to the bow, he realized that the huge merchant ship had already started the journey without them knowing. The ship cut across the waves of the river's surface as it sped along. Xiao Chen was mildly astonished. He had not expected such a huge ship to be able to travel so fast on the river. He also did not know what was propelling the ship. Lu Sufeng walked over to Xiao Chen and asked, Yi Chen, do you think that expert is still watching us? Xiao Chen looked up at the sky and said, I'm not sure. This person has hidden himself very well. I cannot feel any of his aura. However, my instincts tell me that he should still be above. A sea monster appeared in front. Suddenly, someone exclaimed as the two of them were speaking. Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng quickly headed over. They only saw a large whirlpool appearing about a thousand meters in front. After a while, a 200 meters tall waterspout was formed and headed for the merchant ship quickly. Hu Kai, Hu Kai. The water's surface started to turn rough. The ship had already started to rock slightly. Xiao Chen extended his spiritual sense. At the end of it, he saw a huge strange black fish. Lu Su Feng asked doubtfully, what is that? 
Someone replied, this is a black tuna whale, a peak rank 6 spirit beast. They are considered the tyrant of this black dragon river. They appear a few times every year. Any merchant ships that run into it do not have a good ending. How unfortunate, we actually ran into it. After the cultivators on the deck knew of the identity of this weird fish, they started to panic. When they saw the waterspout coming nearer, many cultivators made a quick decision and jumped off the ship. They executed their movement techniques and leapt across the water's surface, rushing back. When Lu Sufeng saw the other cultivators jumping off the ship, he asked, Yi Chen, should we jump off as well? Xiao Chen surveyed his surroundings and noticed the cultivators who had jumped off were the younger cultivators. Although the older cultivators had a look of panic on their face, none of them attempted to jump off. It came even to the point where some of them revealed an amused expression when they saw people jumping off. Xiao Chen shook his head and said, let's wait first, there is no need to rush. Old ginger is spicier. Since the older cultivators did not choose to jump off the ship, there must be a reason they were unaware of. It would be best to observe the situation first. TL note. Old ginger is spicier. This means the older generation is more experienced and have more tricks up their sleeves. Poo si. Poo si. Suddenly, miserable cries came from the river's surface. Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng turned their heads to take a look. They saw the cultivators leaping on the water's surface being attacked by weird fish before falling into the water. The moment they fell into the water, countless weird fish rushing over. There was a ka si a ka ka sound coming from the water. After a while, only the bones of the cultivators were left. The black surface of the water was dyed red by the blood, attracting even more weird fish over. The weird fish had incredibly sharp teeth. The essence of the cultivators was unable to block them even though their bodies were very resilient and strong enough to withstand the assault of ordinary weapons. Soon, the most of the cultivators who had fled the ship were all killed by the strange fish. A small minority of them who had excellent movement techniques were able to turn back and board the ship again, saving their lives. After that, there were no more cultivators who dared to jump off blindly. After an example of what happened, no one was foolish enough. A group of fools. They actually dared to try crossing the Black Dragon River without having the strength of a martial king. How reckless. Someone mocked. However, when they saw the approaching waterspout and the rough water surface, they no longer had gloating expressions. Hu Kai. Suddenly, two strands of surging sword chi came flying from the bow of the ship. They were about a hundred meters long and were very bright. It sliced apart the waves on the water's surface and flew at the approaching waterspout. Someone said joyfully, the merchant ship's guards made a move. Based on the might of this sword chi, they would be peak superior grade martial saint. A peak rank 6 spirit beast should be about as strong as an inferior grade martial king. If there are two peak superior grade martial saints we might be able to survive this if we pitch in. A huge merchant ship would normally have strong cultivators standing guard on it. A big merchant association might even have martial kings. However, martial kings were too rare. It would be difficult for one to hire a martial king if they were not a noble clan with inherited martial spirits or the royal court. Out of the hundred million cultivators in the great Qin nation, only about 10,000 would be able to able to reach martial king. Furthermore, these 10,000 martial kings normally belong to the various big sects, noble clans, and the royal court. Thus, the peak fighting force of a regular merchant association would be the peak martial saint. For this merchant ship to be able to have two peak martial saints, they had to be a pretty big group. Bang! 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 The two strands of surging sword chi struck the waterspout and gave off a loud sound. A huge wave appeared on the water's surface and the merchant ship bobbed up and down before slowing to a stop. 
After the sword chi struck the 200 meter tall waterspout, the waterspout's might and speed was decreased significantly. However, it did not vanish completely. Like before, it headed towards the merchant ship steadily. Xiao Chen watched the approaching waterspout as he thought very quickly. In the end, he decided to make a move. The first reason was to prove the true strength of his physical body to himself. The second was to save himself. After he had made up his mind, Xiao Chen pushed his feet off the deck and moved in a purple arc, heading for the waterspout. All the bones in his body crackled as he frantically circulated the dragon and tiger body sculpting art. His body was giving off a faint golden glow. A golden tiger was circulating him continuously. Fierce tiger leaving the mountains. Xiao Chen shouted, like a tiger roar echoing in the mountains and rivers. Suddenly, his aura soared to its peak state. The illusion of the tiger merged into his fist as he struck the towering waterspout violently. Bang! The surging waterspout was stopped for an instant by this punch. The huge rebound force caused Xiao Chen to fly back more than 10 meters. Again. Xiao Chen laughed and bounced out of the water the instant he landed into it. After that, he sent punch after punch at the waterspout. As Xiao Chen punched out, waves appeared in the surrounding water's surface. There was a continuous rumbling sound as the river water churned in the air. Water was tossed up and fell like there was a heavy rain, Xiao Chen's clothes were completely wet. However, there was a delighted expression on his face. Despite everyone's shocked gazes, the waterspout created by the black tuna whale was prevented from moving forward by Xiao Chen's punches before slowly disappearing. The waterspout turned into water that filled the sky and fell onto the deck like rain. Hu Kai, Hu Kai. Suddenly, countless weird fish leapt out of the river that had been calmed down with great difficulty, heading towards Xiao Chen. The mouths of the fish were open their sharp teeth gleaming with a cold light under the sunlight. Pa! Xiao Chen punched out and the weird fish that crashed into it turned into a spatter of blood falling back into the river. The weapons of those cultivators were unable to kill these fish earlier, yet Xiao Chen punched them to death with his fist. The cultivators on the deck were astonished, and they said, what a strong physical body. We misjudged him earlier, just based on his physical body, he already has the combat prowess of a peak inferior grade martial saint. I wonder how his martial techniques are and what his cultivation of essence is like. If it is as strong as his physical body, in terms of pure combat prowess, a regular superior grade martial saint would not be a match for him. Only a peak marital saint would be able to go against him. Even so, he only has a slight advantage now. When he reaches Martial King, if he does not give up on tempering the body, he might never advance further forever. The cultivators on the deck were all discussing about the strength that Xiao Chen displayed. They did not expect Xiao Chen's physical body to be so strong. Back on the merchant ship, the two old men who sent out the sword Qi jumped down from the ship. They each sent out another sword chi and killed all the weird fish that leapt into the air. The weird fish in the surrounding did not dare to swim near, and they fled far away. Xiao Chen noticed the sword chi fired out by them had an intense light. They were more solid than regular sword chi. It was clear they were very refined. It was once said that when a person loses all hope of advancing to martial king, they would refine their martial techniques and sword chi to their peak in order to raise their combat prowess. Although these people could not advance to martial king, a regular inferior grade martial king could not let their guard down when facing them. It seemed like these two old men had similar circumstances. The might of their sword chi had probably already reached the limits of a martial saint. Little brother, are you interested in joining hands with us to kill this black tuna whale? Our association will be very grateful. One of the old men suggested. The other old man said, actually, the strength of the black tuna whale is only barely equivalent to a peak martial saint. 
Their combat strength soars significantly only when they are underwater. That is why they are categorized as a peak rank 6 spirit beast. Xiao Chen was of the same opinion as well. The strength of a rank 6 spirit beast was very different from a rank 6 demonic beast. This black tuna whale did not seem to be stronger than the early rank 6 scarlet demonic snake. Back then, Yunkashin and the others were able to kill the scarlet demonic snake. Now that there were two peak superior grade martial saint, it was possible for them to kill this black tuna whale. Xiao Chen nodded and said, sure. When the two old men saw Xiao Chen nod in agreement, they immediately revealed gratified expressions. They had seen Xiao Chen's strength for themselves earlier. With his assistance, they had a greater chance of dealing with the black tuna whale. The three of them executed their movement techniques and moved quickly on the water, heading toward the black tuna whale in front. When they were near, Xiao Chen finally saw the black tuna whale's appearance clearly. The part that was above the water was more than a hundred meters. There were rows of black spikes protruding out from its back. Before the three of them got near, a huge whirlpool appeared in the water below them. The huge force immediately sucked the three of them to the bottom of the river. The force from the whirlpool was very strong, and the three of them were unable to resist. They were dragged to the deepest parts in an instant and their bodies were spun around. As Xiao Chen was caught off guard, he swallowed a few mouthfuls of water. He closed his eyes and tried to maintain his calm. Then, he slowly circulated his essence, letting his body get used to the spinning. The other two old men had more experience than Xiao Chen. When this happened, they did not panic at all. They simply circulated their essence and recycled the air within them as they looked for a way to escape. Suddenly, Xiao Chen felt a dangerous aura. When he opened his eyes, he saw a huge open mouth. The whirlpool was bringing the three of them into that huge mouth rapidly. Once the mouth was closed, the black tuna whale would be able to swallow the three of them. Lonely Peak's fatal blow. Xiao Chen shouted in his heart. He drew his saber and the illusion of a mountain indistinctly appeared behind him. In the next instant, it merged into his body. Xiao Chen instantly became like a mountain, weighing as heavy as one. He was able to escape the pull of the whirlpool instantly and sank toward the bottom. Bang! When Xiao Chen's feet touched the river bottom, an intense energy was released and pushed away all the water. His surroundings temporarily became empty, all the river water was forced away. The Black Toon Whale's whirlpool was instantly neutralized. The two old men immediately escaped and sent out a wave of sword chi each at the Black Tuna Whale. The sharp sword chi cut through the resistance of the river water like it was an arrow. Soon, it arrived at the back of the Black Tuna Whale and created two wounds. Sword chi was launched incessantly, separating the river water apart as they flew toward the water's surface. Everywhere within one meter of Xiao Chen was already empty. He took a deep breath and pushed his feet off the bottom, leaping back to the surface and heading for the black tuna whale. If Xiao Chen continued to stay where he was, when the water came back, the force pushing the water away would rebound back and hit him with a force multiple times stronger. Even if he had a strong physical body, he would not be able to withstand it. Occasionally, a pillar of water rushing to the sky would appear on the calm river. The huge merchant ship was rocking non-stop on the water's surface. The crowd was not able to see the situation underwater. They could only feel anxious over the intense battle taking place. They did not know what they could do. Suddenly, blood appeared in the clean river water. The crowd exclaimed, that's a lot of blood. I wonder whose it is. This black tuna whale is not stupid either. It dragged the three of them to the bottom from the very start. Fighting underwater so long is not advantageous to the three of them. Indeed, in terms of strength, three peak martial saints should have a 50% chance of victory when fighting a peak rank six spirit beast. However, they are now underwater. 
Their odds of victory are now only 40%. How about we go down and help them? If they die, the black tuna whale will not let us off for sure. We can do that. You go first, I will follow after you. Why don't you go first instead of asking me to go? Let's go together. The crowd argued about whether to go down and help. However, after arguing for a long time, no one dared to go down. These people were only ordinary inferior grade martial saints. There were even many who were peak martial grade masters. They simply did not have the guts to go down. Most of the people were actually hoping both sides would be taken out at the same time. This would be the best conclusion for them. Since they would not have to make a move and the danger would pass. Within the crowd, Lu Sufeng had a very anxious expression. However, he was afraid that if he went down, he would be causing trouble for Xiao Chen. All he could do was keep hesitating, switching between decisions every so often. Bang! 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 Suddenly, there were three loud sounds coming from the water. It was Xiao Chen and the other two old men bursting out of the water's surface. There was a black dot swimming away from them quickly. As it moved, it left a trail of blood everywhere it passed. The three of them had fought a big battle in the water. Although they had injured the black tuna whale, they could not do anything to stop it from fleeing. They could only leave things be. Many thanks for this little friend's help. One of the old men cupped his hands and said to Xiao Chen, speaking very respectfully. This was how the world of cultivators was. As long as one had similar strength, regardless of age, the other people would treat you with respect. This person had seen Xiao Chen's strength for himself at the bottom, hence, his tone was much more respectful than earlier. Xiao Chen smiled and said, it is just out of convenience. I wanted to polish up my martial techniques. The other old man laughed and said, ha ha. This little friend is too polite. Regardless of the reason, you have done our association a big favor. The captain will come and thank you later. After the two old men spoke, they leapt back to the bow, letting the captain know that the danger had passed and that they could continue their journey. As Xiao Chen watched the disappearing black tuna whale, he felt it was somewhat unfortunate. If he really wanted to chase after it, Xiao Chen was confident in doing so. However, if it sank into the deep waters, it would be problematic for Xiao Chen to deal with it alone. It was a waste of time, the gains did not make up for the losses. Just thinking about it was enough. Xiao Chen returned to the bow of the ship. Not long after, someone came and brought Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng directly to the ship's hold. After the owner of the ship exchanged some pleasantries with them, he took out a thousand inferior grade spirit stones and passed them to Xiao Chen. Then, he called for someone to arrange a room for Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng each. Xiao Chen had no qualms about receiving the thousand inferior grade spirit stones. The amount of effort he put in was definitely worth this price. After the captain left, Lu Sufeng sighed, they told me there were no rooms left yesterday, yet, they were able to prepare two rooms for us immediately. It looks like strength matters no matter where you go. Xiao Chen smiled and said nothing. It was good that Lu Sufeng could understand this principle. After this trip, he would spend more time on his cultivation. The rooms were like that of an inn, there were no differences at all. Xiao Chen sat on the bed and entered a state of cultivation. Ten days had passed since they left the mountains. During these ten days, Xiao Chen gained something after the fights each day. The earlier underwater battle was even more beneficial. Xiao Chen decided to make use of this opportunity to push his cultivation to peak inferior grade martial saint. Then, he would try to push the fourth layer of the dragon and tiger body sculpting art to great perfection. During these three days, Xiao Chen spent all of his time in the room. Occasionally, Lu Sufeng would attempt to lure him out for a breather, but Xiao Chen always refused. This was a crucial moment, 
Xiao Chen did not wish to waste any time. He had to withstand the loneliness. Tong, Tong, Tong. A series of knocks came from the door. Lu Sufeng called out, Yi Chen, we are about to arrive. I'll wait for you at the bow. Xiao Chen opened his eyes, and a light flashed in them. Purple electricity scattered around the room chaotically, giving off, ZZ, sounds. Xiao Chen stretched his hand out, and all the electricity gathered into his right hand, it turned into an electric flame. Then, Xiao Chen flicked it at a vase on the table. There was a depressed, bang, and the electric flame turned it into powder. Xiao Chen stood and casually sent out a palm wind, blowing the powder away. He said indifferently, my cultivation has finally reached peak inferior grade martial saint. My control of the purple thunder true fire is becoming more and more proficient. Whatever, it will still take some time to reach great perfection in the fourth layer of the dragon and tiger body sculpting art. I cannot do it in one go. I probably will be able to do it after the auction ends. Xiao Chen pushed the door open and slowly walked to the bow. Soon, he saw Lu Sufeng. When Lu Sufeng heard footsteps, he turned his head to take a look. He discovered that Xiao Chen felt stronger again. He said in astonishment, Yi Chen, your cultivation has increased again. Xiao Chen nodded. He said, I am now at the peak of inferior grade martial saint. It would be difficult for me to advance again within a short period. After advancing to martial saint, every increase in grade would be incomparably difficult. The difficulty of advancing from inferior grade martial saint to medial grade martial saint was similar to the increase of a realm for lower cultivation. Lu Sufeng had to restrain himself as he said, I really have no idea how you cultivate. Your speed is too horrifying. Xiao Chen replied, aside from having talent and a good cultivation technique, cultivating sessions and experiential trainings are necessary. Haven't you realized, since you came out, there are some improvements in your cultivation as well. After all this, you need to endure loneliness. When other people are wasting themselves on wine and other desires, you can make full use of the time to cultivate. Naturally, your speed will increase. These words made Lu Sufeng somewhat embarrassed. He knew that Xiao Chen was talking about him. He quickly changed the topic and said, the harbor is right before us. We should be able to reach Zaihe city after walking for another half a day. Xiao Chen looked in the direction he pointed and saw a bustling harbor. Occasionally, there were ships entering or leaving. The riverside was even more bustling than the harbor. There was an endless crowd walking about. Xiao Chen could hear the din despite the distance. Suddenly, Xiao Chen asked curiously, where is the end of this Black Dragon River? Lu Sufeng was well acquainted with this information. He explained, the Zaihe province borders the Great Qin Nation. After the Black Dragon River passes through the Zaihe province, it flows into the desolate lands. From there, it branches out and flows to the other nations. In the end, it reaches the Boundless Sea. The Boundless Sea. Xiao Chen thought, the river depicted on the map. Could it be the Black Dragon River? If the destination was the Boundless Sea, then it is quite similar. We have arrived. Let's retrieve our horses. Lu Sufeng's voice interrupted Xiao Chen's thoughts. Hence, he could only stop thinking about it. After they retrieved their horses and slowly made their way down to the harbor, the two of them immediately mounted the horses and made for Zaihe City. After traveling for half a day, the outline of magnificent city walls appeared before them. The walls were a hundred meters tall. Even when looked at from afar, they were not able to see the end of it. Xiao Chen had once seen the capital city of Dongming province, it was as majestic as this. Hence, he was not that astonished. After they paid the toll, they successfully entered the city. The streets in Zaihe city were extremely vast. There were even dedicated roads for carriages and pedestrians. Hence, 
Even though there were many people, the two were not cramped while riding side by side on their horses. After they asked around for the nearest inn, they quickly made their way there. They tied their horses outside and entered through the main gates. Liu Sheng Pavilion, when Xiao Chen saw the signboard of the inn, he smiled faintly. He did not expect this place to have a branch of Liu Sheng Pavilion as well. He recalled that he had a VIP card, now was a good time to use it. Perhaps because of the auction, the inn's business was thriving. The first and second floor were full, there were even people waiting in line. Lu Sufeng said somewhat helplessly, it looks like we can only change to another inn. The third floor and above require a VIP card. Xiao Chen smiled and said, there's no need. Let's go to the third floor. I happen to have the VIP card for this place. Xiao Chen took out the VIP card and showed it to the person standing guard at the staircase. After he took a look, that person invited Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng very respectfully, his attitude very humble. This was because the VIP card Xiao Chen took out was of the highest grade. It would allow Xiao Chen to reach the fifth floor of Liusheng Pavilion. The people who held such cards all had powerful statuses. Lu Sufeng said in surprise, it really is the VIP card of Liusheng Pavilion. How did you get that? It is not easy to obtain. Xiao Chen smiled, this restaurant is run by the damn fatty. For him, getting a VIP card is as easy as raising his hand. However, their luck seemed unfortunate, the third floor was completely full as well. Xiao Chen looked through the entire floor and said, let's go to the, the fourth floor. I don't believe that it will be difficult for us to get a meal. After Xiao Chen flashed his VIP card, they arrived at the fourth floor. The third and fourth floors were different. The fourth floor only had booths, and it was much cleaner. They called over a waiter, and this time, they found an empty booth. Wait up! I want this booth! Just as the waiter was bringing Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng over, a disharmonious voice came from behind them. Xiao Chen frowned slightly and turned. He saw a group of youths dressed in black. The group consisted of both genders, and there were four snowflakes embroidered on the front of their clothes. This was the symbol of the Night Spirit Palace. The black represented the night, and the snowflake represented the cold. Only the core disciples could embroider four snowflakes on their clothes. TL Note the author seemed to have changed the name of this sect from Night Spirit Palace to Night Frost Palace midway through the story. As a refresher, it is one of the three great sects in the Great Chin Nation. I am opting to keep Night Spirit Palace as I think that sounds nicer. The person leading them had a stern and grave expression on his face, he had an impressive appearance. There was a sword hanging at his waist. When he saw the identity token at Xiao Chen's and Lu Sufeng's waist, a look of disdain appeared in his eyes. When the waiter saw this person, his expression changed slightly. He said, Young Master Xi, this is not very appropriate. This booth has already been promised to them. This person laughed and continued walking forward. He spoke without turning his head, they haven't entered it, right? Their meal will be on me. They can wait until we are done. Go, make preparations. He had an indifferent tone as he spoke, treating Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng as heir, completely ignoring them. However, the waiter blocked the way of the man with the surname Xi. He said, in an embarrassed manner, my apologies, at Liusheng Pavilion, we have our own rules. We follow the principle of order of arrival. Would young master she please not make things difficult for us? A dark look flashed on the man's face, he did not expect this waiter, who normally showed deference to him, to say something like that. Say that one more time. Do you realize I can cause Liusheng Pavilion to close its doors for good in Zaihe City with only one word? The waiter was of two minds, he did not know what to do. The person in front of him was Shi Feng the second son of the Shi clan head. 
The Shi clan was one of the three noble clans of Zaihe province. Every one of the three noble clans was huge and powerful. This was especially so of the Shi clan, their base happened to be in Zaihe city. They had a lot of power in this place. If they offended the Shi clan, it would be difficult for the Shi clan to do business here. However, Xiao Chen and Lu Sufeng were not without status as well. There was a limited number of the highest grade VIP cards for Liusheng Pavilion. They were not casually given out. It would not be good to offend them, either. Senior brother Shi Feng, since there is such a rule, let us just wait, a pretty girl from amongst the five suggested. Another one of the five said, Senior brother Shi, I think we should just change to another restaurant. There is no need to make things difficult for a waiter. Although his words seemed to advise Shi Feng, in reality, he was saying he had no magnanimity and only dared to make things difficult for a waiter. Shi Feng glared at this person fiercely, anger flashing in his eyes. However, he did not dare to say too much in front of that girl. He turned around to face the girl and smiled. Junior sister Mew, there is no need to worry. It is something my Shi clan can still manage in Zaihe city. Isn't that right, waiter? His purpose of leaving the sect this time, aside from taking part in the auction, was this girl before him, Miu Yangzu. Miu Yangzu was the beloved second daughter of the Night Spirit Palace's second palace master. Shi Feng had already been pursuing her in the Night Spirit Palace. In terms of beauty, disposition, status, she was his ideal. The most important thing was that, if he married this girl, his position in his clan would be even more secure. He would have a greater chance of snatching away the position of clan head in the future. If he was not able to secure a table in his territories, he would be very embarrassed. The waiter was placed in an awkward position when Shi Feng used the Shi clan to pressure him. He could not help but look toward Xiao Chen and Lu Su Feng, hoping they would take a step back. Xiao Chen smiled helplessly. He did not expect it to be so problematic to get a meal. Everywhere he went, he ran into fools. Xiao Chen was no longer the impertinent youth who had just left Mohe City. He was now more mature, he would not casually reveal the brilliance of a cultivator. Xiao Chen turned and lead Lu Sufeng toward the fifth floor. Most people were not allowed on the fifth floor, there should be no problems obtaining a meal there. Stay there. Did I tell you to leave? I already said I will compensate you with a meal for taking your place. Are the Heavenly Saber Pavilion's people not going to give me any face? Shi Feng took two steps forward and asked in an authoritative manner as he watched Xiao Chen turn around and leave. The people from the three great sects in the Great Qin Nation did not get along very well. When they met, the atmosphere was usually very tense. This was especially true for the Heavenly Saber Pavilion and the Misty Sword sect. When the disciples of these two sects met, they normally ended up fighting, even without speaking to each other. Of the three great sects, the total strength of the Night Spirit Palace was the lowest. If Shi Feng was able to trample all over two Heavenly Saber Pavilion disciples here, he would leave a deep impression on Mu Yangzu. Shi Feng must be thinking these two people were only inferior grade martial saints. Furthermore, this was Zaihe City, he could surely defeat them. Xiao Chen stopped and a killing intent flashed in his eyes. His aura was withdrawn, but that did not mean there was no edge to him. Just because he wanted to be low-key did not mean he would be bullied. Lu Su Feng whispered, Yi Chen, this Shi Feng is the second son of the Shi clan head, one of the three noble clans of Zaihe province. He has an innate martial spirit and is already a medial grade martial saint. Among the younger generation in Zaihe province, he is a famous expert. In a distant booth, one man and one girl dressed in the uniform of the Misty Sword sect sat, having a drink as they chatted. When the girl saw the people across from them, she simply looked somewhere else. 
She could not help but feel something strange, so she looked over at Xiao Chen's group. After she saw the situation, the girl revealed a slightly astonished expression. She whispered, it's the Heavenly Saber Pavilions and the Night Spirit Palace's people. The Heavenly Saber Pavilions people will lose. They have fewer people and are weaker. Senior Brother Kai, do you recognize them? The man had a sword behind his back and a calm expression on his handsome face. This was the Chu Chaoyun that Xiao Chen was so fearful of. Chu Chaoyun shook his head slightly. After he took a sip of wine, he said, he seems familiar, but I can't think of where I have seen him. Let's continue to watch. Xiao Chen's temperament seemed quite familiar to Chu Chaoyun. However, he could not recall where he had seen that ordinary face before. Furthermore, Xiao Chen's martial spirit had now merged into his body. So Chu Chaoyun could not feel the Azure Dragon's aura. Hence, Chu Chaoyun's instinct told him he should have met him before, but he did not know who it was. When Shi Feng saw Xiao Chen stop, a proud look appeared on his face. He said, standing there is fine as well. Just don't move before we are done eating. No matter how much you want to eat, it will be on me. Junior sister, let's go. After Shi Feng spoke, he led the other four people into the booth. The people on good terms with him smiled and said, Senior brother Shi, I did not expect you to scare two heavenly saber pavilions people into not daring to move with just a few words. You are awesome. Shi Feng's proud expression became even more pronounced. He casually took a glance at Mu Yangzu and smiled faintly, they are just two inferior grade martial saints. Even without the fame of my Shi clan, I could defeat them easily. It is nothing worth respecting. However, Mu Yangzu's expression did not change much, she gave a forced laugh. She felt something was wrong, but she just could not put a finger on it. I don't really want to brag, but there is no one who dares to not give any face to the Shi clan. Just tell me if something catches your fancy in the auction. My Shi clan will bid on your behalf. Even a martial king would not dare mess with us, Shi Feng spoke with a smile as he walked. Hu Kai. Just at that moment, an intense wind blew from behind Shi Feng. There was a surging killing intent coming from behind, it was quite powerful. This frightened the five people. Shi Feng's reaction was the fastest. The moment the heard the wind, he instantly spun around. When he saw Xiao Chen, he did not reveal any trace of panic. Instead, he was excited. He said with a faint smile, if you did not make a move, I really would not have been able to do anything to you. Now that you dared attack me, you can forget about walking out of this Liu Sheng pavilion. Xiao Chen could not be bothered about him. He increased his speed again and circulated the dragon and tiger body sculpting art. Then, he sent a punch flying at Shi Feng's face. Shi Feng mocked, you actually dare show off your physical body in front of me. You are seeking death. After Shi Feng spoke, a green rock appeared under his feet. This was the inherited martial spirit of the Shi clan, the Cyan Field Rock. The rock turned into streaks as it quickly extended to his right hand. Soon, it transformed into a strange whirlpool in his palm. Shi Feng clenched his palm and the whirlpool immediately disappeared. It had merged into the skin of his right hand, granting him a horrifying strength as he punched violently at Xiao Chen's fist. Bang! When the two fists met, there was a loud, exploding sound on the quiet fourth floor. A horrifying shockwave extended out, shattering some of the surrounding tables. Shi Feng was sent flying backward. The rock on his arm moved from his fist this his shoulder. Then it quickly exploded out and turned into a pile of rocks, falling to the ground. Xiao Chen did not move at all, his aura surged. The bones in his body were crackling. The illusion of the dragon and tiger intertwined with each other. Xiao Chen shouted and pushed his feet off the ground, chasing after Shi Feng without hesitation. How could this be? 
How could Shi Feng lose to this person in terms of physical body? A Knight Spirit Palace disciple asked in disbelief. The inherited martial spirit of the Shi clan increased a cultivator's physical strength by 50% at most. Both strength and defense significantly increased. How could he have lost so badly? Mu Yangzu said nothing. She knew that Shi Feng had kicked an iron board this time. This is good as well. This will stop him from doing stupid things in the future, Mu Yangzu affirmed to herself. Shi Feng was extremely shocked. Since he left the sect, this was the first time he had suffered a disadvantage in terms of physical body. Su. The moment Shi Feng fell towards the ground, and his feet touched the floor, the Cyan Field Rock anchored him, catching him firmly and stopping him from moving back. Shi Feng watched as Xiao Chen flew towards him with a surging aura. A trace of killing intent flashed across Shi Feng's face. Shi Feng shouted and the Cyan Rock covered his entire body. The aura of the innate martial spirit released. All the cultivators on the fourth floor felt some pressure. Shi Feng clenched his fist tightly and punched out. The wind from his punch broke through the air and caused a sharp roar, forming a huge cyan whirlpool in the air. Shi Feng said coldly, the strength of this punch has reached 5,000 kilograms of force. Let's see how are you going to break it. Scram back. Bang. Xiao Chen's expression became grim. He roared loudly, like that of a dragon and tiger, piercing through the sky. His body was covered in a faintly golden glow. The illusion of a tiger and dragon quickly merged into his fist. Great dragon tiger fist, dragon hisses tiger roars. Under the circulation of the dragon and tiger body sculpting art, the force of this punch was the strongest punch Xiao Chen could throw, it carried a force of 9000 kilograms. Bang! When the fists met, there was heaven-shaking sound. The surface of the cyan rock cracked and shattered. The shockwave generated turned it into powder and scatter it in the wind. Pu Si. Shi Feng vomited a large mouthful of blood. His body flew back heavily like a bag of sand. Shi Feng crashed through the wall of the fourth floor with a loud bang and landed on the third floor. When Shi Feng landed in a miserable state, the guests on the third floor all moved aside. The people who recognized Shi Feng were incomparably shocked. They did not know who had the guts to attack the Shi clan's people in Zaihe province. Hu Kai. Xiao Chen dropped through the hole in the wall, and his figure flashed in the air. He stepped on Shi Feng's chest, pushing the struggling man back to the ground. Shi Feng vomited another mouthful of blood and coughed a few times. He pointed at Xiao Chen and said in fright, let go of me quickly. Otherwise, you can forget about leaving Zaihe city alive. Xiao Chen smiled faintly and ignored him. He said in a deep voice, you want to use my status as a heavenly saber pavilion core disciple to chase after a girl. Unfortunately, you used the wrong target. You are not even worth me drawing my saber. Just as he spoke, Xiao Chen kicked Shi Feng's waist viciously, not holding back anything. Shi Feng, who was unable to resist, was kicked into the air. He flew in an arc and accurately went through the third floor's window, falling directly onto the street. Up on the fourth floor of Liu Sheng Pavilion, Chu Chaoyun smiled faintly as he watched Xiao Chen. So, it is him. I was wondering why I could not find him. So, he ran to the Heavenly Saber Pavilion. The girl sitting across from Chu Chaoyun asked out of curiosity, Senior Brother Chu, is that someone you know? Chu Chaoyun got up and smiled gently, it's an old friend. Anywhere, he goes will not be peaceful. He is like a sharp saber. Even if you place him in a scabbard, the radiance he reveals the instant he is drawn is shocking. When Mu Yangzu saw Shi Feng fly out the window from the hole in the wall, her expressions changed. She quickly said, go down and stop him. If he escapes, it will not be easy to answer to the Shi clan. The noble clans had close relationships with the various big sects. 
they had a relationship akin to that of an alliance, such as the Yun clan with the Heavenly Saber Pavilion, the Yan clan with the Misty Sword Sect, and the Shi clan with the Night Spirit Palace. Hence, Liu Yangzu could not simply sit and watch. If Xiao Chen swaggered off after he humiliated Shi Feng like that, the Night Spirit Palace could give an account to the Shi clan if they decided to pursue the matter. The four people all drew their weapons and quickly jumped through the hole. Each of them took a corner and surrounded Xiao Chen. Lu Sufeng was about to jump down to help, but he discovered a hand on his shoulder stopping him from doing so. Lu Sufeng's expression changed and he looked back and exclaimed, Chu Chaoyun. Why are you here? The Misty Sword Sect's top expert, the eternal rival of the Heavenly Saber Pavilion, Lu Sufeng was very familiar with this person's appearance. However, he had only seen drawings of him. This was his first time seeing him in person. Chu Chaoyun smiled and said, Don't be nervous, your friend will be fine. If you go down, you will only make things worse. Chu Chaoyun's words were very gentle, there was no killing intent or any aura emitted. However, it caused Lu Sufeng to feel a formless pressure, making him not dare to move. The customers on the third floor all already left. However, they were not far away, they were on the second floor watching the excitement. So, it is the Heavenly Saber Pavilion's people and the Night Spirit Palace's people fighting each other. However, why is there only one person from the Heavenly Saber Pavilion? It is dangerous to fight one against four. 